So we have had an official statement put out by police and the Delaware County Sheriff's Office outside of Columbus County, Ohio. This is the county that is looking into the case of Huxley. I think for a lot of people, this is not going to be the type of update they were hoping to hear from police because it's pretty open and shut. Now, I already saw people that were putting comments onto this statement that, I don't know, it was almost like they read a different statement than I did because they really seemed to be, oh, this is great. Yeah, you're going to find abuse and you're going to, that is not at all what this statement was saying. So I'm going to go ahead and read this statement for you for those that uh, may not get a chance to see this. So the statement is as follows, dated June 3rd of 2020. The Delaware County Sheriff's Office has received several inquiries regarding the welfare of a local five-year-old child who was recently given up for adoption. This child is not missing. Our primary concern is for the well-being of this child as well as the other children in the household. Our investigation is ongoing and will include contact with all children to ensure their safety. All adoption cases are confidential and must go through a thorough process with specific requirements and safeguards. In private adoptions, there are the same legal requirements that must be adhered to. These include home studies, as well as background checks on the adopting parents. In this case, we are confident that the appropriate process is occurring. In addition, both parties are being represented by attorneys to ensure full compliance with the court process. Due to the confidential nature of this case, we will not be releasing any specific information or further comment. And that's it. So that essentially is all that you are going to hear from the Delaware County Police Department. And again, some of the comments that I was seeing on this statement did not seem to be lining up with what this statement says. The statement essentially says they feel good about the process. He was never missing. They always knew where he was. They looked into this case because of the numerous inquiries that they were receiving, I'm sure, from a lot of YouTube people. I know a lot of YouTube creators have mentioned they had called the police themselves. People on Instagram had called the police. Concerned fans probably across the world have talked to the police. And the last part of that is there will be no specific updates at all. So is anybody ever going to really know where he's at? No. Does anybody really need to know where he's at, provided he is safe, being taken care of, and all the proper procedures are being, are taking place? And I would say no, it's really nobody's business, as long as he's safe and happy and being loved, and Huxley's getting the care that he so very much deserves. But I know this is not going to satisfy a lot of people. But so for all the people, and I appreciate your zealousness. I appreciate your concern for Huxley. We can take the fact of whether he has passed off the table. We know Huxley is very much okay. The situation has been monitored by the police. There are a lot of pieces in play here to ensure that Huxley is okay. Now, that doesn't change the fact of why this happened in the first place. But I think we can take those things off the table of we still don't know where he is. We don't feel good. It's really nobody's business where he is, provided the police know proper procedures are taking place. They've never not known where he was. And I think that's really all that we can get from this right now. If there is ever a criminal case, I know another thing that a lot of people being said, they felt like abuse was going on. I've not seen that. I've not seen any indication of that. If there is anything criminal, of course, we would hear that. When there is an official adoption, I would think that also that information is potentially going to be seen by people that are looking for it. I don't know. I'm no expert. Some of the things to me didn't make sense in terms of what they're claiming 
our safeguards in place for the adoption procedure. And they actually didn't refer to it even as a international adoption. So it's good that maybe the adoption process for the two families here went above board. And maybe that's what the police are telling us. I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more information, but I think everybody can feel safe and secure that he's okay. And I think this may be the last information that's probably released on Huxley for a while. But I'd love to know your thoughts. What did you think about the police statement? Was it what you wanted to hear? Do you feel good about it? Or do you feel that it uh, really comes short of providing you with the comfort that you were hoping for? I hope everybody's having a great day. It's pouring down here in Tennessee. Me and my wife just went to get groceries. We just got back. And I saw this and I thought, hey, I need to update everybody. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.